What up fam? So I have a package from a brand new custom military Lego company called Level 2 Builds. And due to FDA regulations and MNR productions, I do not want to be called out for not disclosing that I got this set for free to review. So thank you Level 2 Builds for having me look at this set for free. So let's uh, open this up. Biker knife. This tape job though, for real. It's like nice tape. It's in a box box. Here's a card. Shy, thank you for agreeing to review the P51. It's great to meet someone who shares the same passion for Lego. Thanks again, Quinn. P.S. they're only being sold on Etsy. So here is level two builds is Etsy, which is where you can find their product. And right now they only have one plane and one item on this site or on their page on Etsy. And it's currently going for $249.99. And I guess is more of a medium price for custom Lego P51s that I've seen in the past. I've seen ones that are actually more expensive and I've seen some that are slightly cheaper. Now here's a brief description on the set, 580 Lego bricks, all brand new, color instructions of pilot, and well as accurate World War II markings flown during the D-Day invasion, the invasion stripes. And obviously they have to put the, we are not Lego. Few renderings of the plane, and just by looking at the stand, it looks like you could place it in different ways to how you want it to bank. Yeah, that's a really good silhouette of P-51, that's very iconic right there. Oh, the lifestyle photos. <laughs> yes, that's actually really good. I'm feeling that. I know he put a lot of time and effort into this and it's no easy feat in creating a custom Lego set for mass produce. And like, I'm sure he put a lot of sweat in this. So let's definitely take a look at it. This is so far just an Etsy store. I am excited to see what else he comes up with in the future because if it holds up to what I think this might be, they look pretty promising. So here are the Lego pieces and they are genuine Lego pieces just to clarify that separated in bags so that is a huge plus that this is set up in bag numbers and so that it's not going to be just one hodgepodge mess when you're actually building so i'm excited about that we got stickers and here is the instructions for the p51d mustang d-day edition so i do have other p51 mustangs that i actually never reviewed this will be my first p51 custom military lego set that i've ever built some real life photos we got production information specs we have a history lesson on this specific version of the P51 Mustang. So a little bit on the instructions. It looks pretty detailed and easy to follow. It looks like we got some historical facts within these as well. It's not just a simple instruction manual. There is some facts and information within the instruction itself, but I'll get through this, see how it turns out, and I'll move on from there. So here is level two build P51D mustang and for a first set for this company not bad the build is pretty solid and i like the way the stand gives it a little character of putting it at a tilt but very easy to come off and if you hold it right here it is actually really really swishable look look nothing's coming apart nothing's coming apart now looking at it from straight ahead it isn't cantered at all like i think the p51 is a little bit cantered on the wing but that's a little bit more an advanced build for the designer rest of the silhouette of the plane looks just like a p51 now no expert about this plane but i am familiar about how this looks and a lot of us are too because well p51 is such an iconic plane now this plane does have landing gear and it's very stable propellers move smoothly cockpit opens up i really like the interior of this though it's I like the seat and there is a printed controller pad and then the rest of the stars and bars are stickers the be2 the yellow jacket they are manually cut which kind of messed me up when i was trying to apply them to the set because i usually when you put on a sticker you're looking at the edge of the sticker to get it straight this time around i had to look at the actual design because these stickers aren't cut out perfectly which is fine the only complaint i really have about this is the connection between the tail and the sides right here they're only held together by two studs as you can see right there but as long as you don't grab it it's really not that bad not bad at all so as you can see easy to put on but also easy to come off but as long as you don't hold it there it's actually relatively strong build now as far as the building process it was very easy to follow like super easy just like lego instructions currently there's only a few bricks placed per step now if we look at step 186 flush with end reading this and actually paying attention made a big difference when you were to actually put it into the build 
So that is genius and that helps out the builder so, so much. So for example, at step 173, press here and here to connect. Like press here to strengthen connection. That is super, super helpful. So I really, really, really appreciated that in this set and one thing that's also cool the historical facts are placed in very specific areas of the build to which you were to learn as you're building this one also when you were to do each bag it has an image of what exactly you're building so now it's not like any other company i've dealt with from lego to custom where you just get a lettered or numbered bag and then you're kind of guessing to what you're actually going to build if you're unless you're looking at the instructions here in itself Bag one tells you exactly what you're building. Bag two tells you exactly what you're building and so forth and so forth. Now, as far as the minifigure is concerned, he is super basic. Literally nothing custom printed on this thing. He has a pure plain, no print, tan leg, brown torso with no prints, the life preserve vest and a pilot helmet, which are seen pretty much in a lot of places. I think the head is Han Solo. And if level two were to go forward, I think you should get with other third-party companies to custom print a minifig because a lot of people really really would appreciate a custom minifig regardless of the fact that you can see them in the build or not all in all this is a good looking p51 mustang this is the first one that i've ever built i love the invasion stripes that is brick made guns simulated in the front obviously you can't really do much with that stickers in much needed areas and i like the way the stand is making the plane bank right but aside from that my only complaints would be this part of the tail and the plain minifigure but it's a minifigure nonetheless and it's easy to get a pilot if i really wanted to replace it and as long as you're not really holding it by the tail it stays in place so it's not really too much now it would be nice to see a little slight canter for the wings and maybe movable ailerons on the side so that way you could actually bank these up pull them up and down as if this plane was actually turning and i'm sure they will figure it out soon enough on how to do that but for a first set off the line not bad so i'm excited to see what else they come up with and let me know what you guys think once again thank you level 2 builds for sending me this set for free to build it was super enjoyable and for everyone else if you made it with me all the way to the end of this video give me a thumbs up thumbs down like comment subscribe below and i'll see you on the next video bye guys peace